Good morning, warriors of God. Derek Lynn, we're praying for America and time spent with the word. Oh, Lord, our God, how excellent, how excellent is your name in all the heavens and all the earth. We lift up our heads, O ye gates, on today, and be ye lift up ye everlasting doors, and the King of glory shall come in. Who is this King of glory? The Lord strong and mighty, the Lord mighty in battle. O we lift up our heads, O ye gates, and be ye lift up ye everlasting doors, and the King of glory shall come in. Who is this King of glory? The Lord of hosts. Mm -hmm. The Lord of hosts. The Lord of heaven's army. The creator of all things created. The wars, the is, and the is to come. The same yesterday, today, and forever. The great I am that I am. Yod, hey, vav, hey, alpha and omega, beginning and ending, first and last. Yahweh, the covenant-keeping God. The God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. He is the Lord of hosts. Mm -hmm. Selah. In Jesus Christ's name, amen. Well, Psalms 89, verse 8. O Lord, God of heaven's army, where is there anyone as mighty as you, O Lord? You are entirely faithful. The Lord God is entirely faithful, and there is no one mightier than our God, no one powerful than our God, no one omnipotent than our God, no one omniscient than our God, no one omnipresent than our God. He is God, and he is God all by himself. He causes things to spin in orbit. He spoke the world into existence. Great is our God and greatly to be praised. It is this God that we are praying to and beseeching him, making our supplications known unto him on behalf of the United States of America. And we believe that, the, oh my God, Rama Siki, Rama Tuya. That the thing the Lord has promised, he is going to bring it to pass. Why? Because the promises of Yahweh are yes, and they have their amen. Now, warriors of God, people of God, sons and daughters of God, servants of the Most High God, <laughs> sons of Zion, mighty men of valid daughters, oh my God, of the King of all kings and the Lord of all lords, buckle the seatbelt. Fast in the seatbelt <laughs> because we are taking off and we are taking off and there shall be a smooth and a safe landing because <laughs> we have been through the turbulence. My God, we have been through the waves. We have been through the storm. <laughs> we have come over onto the other side and it is landing time. And before we land, make sure your seat belts are fully fastened. <laughs> In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, because he is great. He does miracles so great. There is no one compares to him. Aren't you glad we serve a God that is greater than any other gods across the spectrum? <laughs> In Jesus' name. Father, now we thank you. We praise you for what you are doing in the United States of America. We praise you and thank you for what you are doing with your people, O oh God of Israel. We thank you for the regathering of your people, O oh God. We thank you, Father God, for the peace within the walls of Jerusalem. We thank you, Father God, on today that America shall see the great unfolding, the great revealing, Father God, as you, O oh God, are prompting the hearts of the people that you have put in place for such a time as this to move and to move fast, <laughs> to move and to move swiftly in the powerful name of Jesus, to move and to move with speed in Jesus Christ's name. Amen. Well, warriors of God, we're not concerned about this country because you know what? The Lord's perfect will shall be done in America and throughout this year. Our prayer for America, even as we read the scriptures and continually pray for these United States of America, at the end of the day, I say, Father God, Lord God of heaven, the Lord God of heaven's army, let your will be done in the USA and for your glory. Until the next time, the Lord be with you and also with me. The Lord bless you. And may be strong in the Lord in the power of his might, put on the whole arm of God, because if there were ever a time that we need to stand, the time is now. Until the next time. Shalom.